Oh, we got the bay door open? But, hey, that's immaculate vibes. All right, guys, so bench press is the first movement on our chest and tricep day, roll into this off season. So this is a movement I have not touched in like a solid two plus months. Just wasn't conducive, the most optimal thing to be uh, using to stimulate my chest for that time period in prep. Now that we're adding it back in, I am, you know, remembering why I fuck with it so much. So a 315 rep test is pretty much something I've been implementing into my training program for like eight, 10 months. Basically every chest day, um, I'm taking 315 to failure. One, it's my primary gauge of, okay, am I progressing in strength? Two, I mean, you are getting a lot of chest stimulus when you're hitting, when you're taking 315 to failure at the beginning of your training session. Um, one thing that's a little different is last off season we had chest two times a week. It's only programmed one time a week in, the, in this off season's training plan, at least as of right now, because it is not a major focal point. Um, but with that, implementing this back in, I'm one, remembering how much I love it. Two, realizing how weak I've gotten on it after not doing it for two months. Um, so, first 315 rep test in nine, 10 weeks. Um, might not even get one, but we're gonna see where strength is at. Okay, okay. My estimate right now is I'm gonna hit two of them bitches. All right. Now I just gotta bother somebody to spot me. I'm gonna pick out the strongest looking motherfucker in here because I'm gonna really take it to failure. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Disclaimer, I might not hit a single fucking rep, but we will see. We're gonna see. That's not how you talk, man. Let's get them too. Yeah, you're right. Get them too. <laughs> Just my disclaimer. Uh, as many as I can. Let me scoot back real quick. I'm gonna arch my back. Right on. On three. One, two, three. Oh. God. That's insane. That is nine reps less than. That's insane, bro. That's tough. Right on, man. I appreciate you, bro. That's insane. I think he thinks that I'm like excited. You what? I think he thinks I'm I'm happy about that. Oh. That's that's. <laughs> I just cut my PR in, in, into a tent. Work, nigga. The fuck. <laughs> What the fuck? Work? <laughs> oh my god. Honestly, though, for not touching that weight, it was pretty smooth. Alrighty. So, yeah, we still wrong. So, that workout is concluded, wrapped up, annihilated, all that. So, to, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of the chest and tricep day that we're rolling into the beginning part of this improvement phase with. So, First, I'll start by saying the volume will only go up from here. So while I'm at, you know, TRT doses and, you know, uh, supplements are kind of not in the picture, uh, we are, you know, keeping volume to where it's effective, but not anything that my body can't recover from. So right now we're doing one session a week and sets are around 20 sets for chest and triceps each. But remember, these sets are to absolute and utter failure. So, um, you know, I'm comfortable with that, that range right now. But getting into the actual training program. So like I mentioned at the beginning, I'm doing 315 um, for an AMRAP every Monday. From there, we're going into four sets of four, um, basically working on a strength progression from there. Now I do understand that my strength is kind of, you know, not at its maximum after just busting out an AMRAP for 315, um, but it's the consistency that we're gauging there. Incline chest press machines, press, chest press machines are one of my favorites right now. 
so much upper chest stimulus. I'm murdering my triceps at the same time. And it's just a movement that I'm gonna really, 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 really focus on overloading this off season. Just like getting fucking strong. Man. Like I wanna see four, five plates on that bitch by winter time, really. Five might have been a lot. You still rolling it? Five might have been a lot. Maybe like four, four and a half. That's a lot. Not killing though. Oh. Ho, 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 ha, so, um, let's see, and then, oh, my favorite chest machine right now is the machine incline chest press. When I'm able to be vertical and just, just, oh, oh, all that shit, um, I love that, man. And like I said, I'm gonna just overload the fuck out of that movement this off season. Um, right now, I'm able to push a little over three plates, but I wanna, I wanna push that bitch up to five. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. That's a bold statement. That's gonna take a strong individual to do that, but I intend on being a strong individual. All right, so we just finished up that machine. Next on the plan is Smith Machine Incline Bench, but there are no Smith Machine Incline Benches available. So what we're gonna do is substitute for the little doohickey over there. But I'm adding this in because I get a clients that text me all the time. Blank machine is filled, can I do a blank instead? If it's gonna keep you, if it's gonna help you not be in the gym for an extra 15 minutes, yes. If, it's, if we're hitting the same targeted muscle group, Yes, go ahead and do that. But try to follow your plan as specifically as possible. So at the end of the day, those movements are programmed for a certain reason and they will be titrated according to your progression. So it's most optimal for you to hit those movements as consistently as possible. But I don't expect you to be waiting around on a machine for 20 minutes, feel me? This is one of my favorite machines right now from the aspect that you, that didn't even make sense. I'm trying to sound smart and shit for no reason. I like this one because you can adjust the seat and make it either a shoulder press, an incline press, targeting your chest, or like so many variations and degrees in between. So there's a lot of freedom with this one basically. Way too light. <laughs> this bitch is hard, bro. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. That motherfucker is nasty, bro. Oh my god. You get a dumb ass stretch right here at the bottom. It's one of those ones where like the next few days you'll feel that nasty ass soreness like in between your armpit and chest. That's how you know you was getting good contractions, bro. It's the, it's the bay door. That's what's doing it. That's what's bringing the strength out. is just I, it's another variable of trying to stabilize the uh, movement that I don't I'm not really interested in fucking with I would rather just focus on you know my setup and moving the bar up and down opposed to you know the stabilizer muscles that are go, gonna go into you know making sure the bar is not moving forward or backwards 
Um, so dumbbell overhead tricep extension. This is my bread and butter, meat and potatoes of my tricep training. Crazy as fuck that I forgot to do it. Um, but with this, man, we are just focusing on murdering the long head of the tricep. And that is gonna be a focal point of the entire improvement phase is just getting that long head beefy really nailing the contraction, the eccentric, getting a full range of motion because that is what's gonna cause my arm to grow, expand, get fatter, wider, all that. Need all the growth. Oh. Ah. Oh. I'm getting real particular about these during the off season, especially with my clients. Want you guys to peep how much I let my triceps stretch at the top. I'm not coming here, I'm not coming here. I'm coming all the way up here till my forearm is touching my bicep and I feel like the long head of my tricep is about to rip out of the fucking skin. Just watch how exaggerated these are. So we have dips, um, you know, really focusing on form here, just getting a solid contraction, getting depth, and we are prioritizing them to chest um, activation. So, you know, getting very good depth and leaning forward slightly, opposed to if I was, you know, trying to be as vertical as possible in the movement, we'd be much more biased towards shoulders and triceps. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna conclude this, uh, this exercise with, if you made it to this point in this video, and this is how I'm gonna know if motherfuckers are watching, DM me right now. Give me that gift card, word for word. Give me that gift card. I will send you a $50 Alphaly gift card. I'm gonna see who's watching. First person, one person though. Don't, don't think I'm running this shit for continuous never ending, nah. One person, first person, give me that gift card. I will send you a $50 Alphaly gift card. This is such an elite movement, will always be one of my favorites. Just because you can, oh my God, just slaughter your, slaughter your chest with a super deep contraction, squeezing at the top. It's really safe and you know, like you can take this to absolute failure. Just like any kind of incline fly movement is just money. And then this machine specifically, how it's set up, just feels really buttery. So this is the last like chest specific movement and it's a good one to end on. It could not be more pumped. Like, why is my titty up here right now, bro? That's what them inclines will do for you. Um, there was something I was thinking mid-set that I wanted to say and I don't remember. I hope it comes to me, I don't know right now. It was good, too. Uh. Like, it feels so good to sweat. Like, motherfuckers be complaining about sweating so much, but like, I love to sweat when I'm in the gym. Don't know if we're in no cold ass workout, but uh, like, I would say this, I don't know if this place has air conditioning or not. I guess it has to. Okay, there's a heater over there. But like, when he opens the bay door, one, it's an immaculate vibe. Two, it's just like, it gets hot and humid and like sweltering and shit in here. So it's a good feeling. Oh, bro. Fuck, oh, my nose tickled. And then to wrap it up, we have three sets of 15 to 20 with a drop set on the cable incline chest fly. And you guys can tell I love my incline movements. 
Um, from there, we have a super set with a standing overhead tricep extension and the decline push up. Um, what you guys need to understand about my training style when we are in a growth phase or even anything that is not a deload or, you know, I fucked up and I'm injured. I am training to fucking failure. I am training hard as fuck. All right, so same concept with the standing regular tricep push down is we are just going for a maximum stretch in the long head, really focusing on control in the eccentric portion. Nothing magical about these, it's just I wanna attack the tricep from all angles, give enough tension to every portion of the muscle, which we know it's broken into three different parts. Basically, we're going to thoroughly fuck our shit. That's how I'm gonna put it. I am taking my sets where they need to go in order for me to grow. That is the motto all off season. And I'm gonna end the video here. I'll see you guys in the next one where we'll be jumping into a back and bicep day. If you guys made it this far in the video, thank you very much. Code Dev to save yourself some money on Beam, Alpha Elite, and Ubora. I will see you guys in the next one.